Hey Becca, how you doing? Yeah, I'm well, thanks. So. Good. I was just thinking about the chats I had last week with Krista, and so I've been doing a bit of reading up actually. Um, I don't know if you saw the live one, but we were learning about Moses yeah. and the whole bed and bus scenario. Yeah. Well, I found out there are loads of times in the Bible. Becca. Where... Why are you interrupting me? Me? Yes. I didn't say anything. What do you mean? I was just talking and you went <laughs> Hang on, I, I didn't see anything and I certainly didn't hear anything. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, so as I was saying, there are loads and loads of stories in the Bible where God speaks. And it's not always Bad through a... Okay. Through a what? You stopped like mid-sentence. Do you know what? I'll, I, I knew it wasn't you that time because I heard it again. And I saw your lips. Man, I could be a good secret agent. Becca, seriously, I think you need to get your ears tested. I didn't hear a thing. Well, apart from you talking, obviously. Ha, ha, ha. Huh, how strange. Hmm. Anyway, continue what you were saying. Yes, as I was saying, there were loads of stories in the Bible where God speaks. Awesome. There's this one story Becca. where God... Where someone keeps hearing God's voice and <laughs> it's their name. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Who's behind that? Well done. You are so clever. How did you know that that's what we were talking about today? You clever little cheeky chuckle. Hey. hey. Who? Who is she talking to? What is going on? I can't cope with this. Follow me, Al. Follow me. Well, there's this one story in 1 Samuel, verse 3, where there's a boy called Samuel. Okay, so Samuel is going to bed one night when he hears somebody call his name. Samuel! Well, he thinks it's Eli who he lives with, so he says, Yes, Eli? You called me? Well, Eli looked very confused and he was like, mm, It wasn't me. Um, I think you should just go back to bed. So, off they both go to bed. And just as he was about to drop off, it happened again. Samuel! So he gets up, goes off to Eli, and of course Eli says, You are hearing things. Go back to bed. So there he is, just about to hit the pillow, and he hears, Samuel! This time, he goes to Eli, but Eli has twigged what's going on. It wasn't Eli calling him, but it was God trying to get Samuel's attention. So, Eli tells him, go lie down. And when you hear the voice again, say, speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. So, he does as he was told. He was a very obedient child. And when God says his name again, he says, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Then God tells him all the stuff about Eli and his family and things. Wow, that's amazing. So why doesn't that happen today then? What do you mean? Well, like a big scary voice from above. That doesn't still happen, does it? No, I know what you mean. No, no not as often. Check this out. There are people in this church who, what the grown-ups call, have heard the audible voice of God, which basically means God's voice out loud, just like Samuel did. Well, we asked them what it was like. Well, let's check it out. Hey Spark, it's Sarah. Just wanted to tell you all about something that happened to me personally when I was about five, maybe six years old. So I was about Spark age when this happened and I was laid in bed one night trying hard to get to sleep we all know how hard that can be and I heard a man's voice calling my name calling Sarah and I told mum and dad later on that I knew it was God I just knew it was God's voice and I decided at that moment that I wanted to be friends with God and ask him to be part of my life now as I grew up I kind of started to think maybe that maybe that was just a story I'd heard and I kind of made it out to be what I would have liked to have happened until when I was maybe about 25 years old so I was an adult it happened again 
and I was laid in bed one night, I was fast asleep and I woke up with somebody shouting, Sarah, not in a scary way or anything, just, just shouting Sarah, like they were looking for me. And at the time I was in the house on my own, there was nobody else there. And so I woke up and I thought, who, who was that? And at that moment, again, I just knew it was God. I knew it was God wanted to get my attention. And I um, started speaking to him and started following him again after all those years. Now, I was chatting to my friend Mike the other week, who's in my community group, and he was sharing with me his experience of a very similar thing happening. So Mike is going to tell you his story now. Uh, my story starts with, with me praying to God. Uh, I'd been feeling a bit sad, a bit down, uh, and a bit upset with myself. And I wondered if God really loved me, if he accepted me and, and wanted me. I was on my own in my, in my house alone and the television wasn't on and God gave me first a picture in my mind and it was a picture of Jesus on the cross. And then I heard a voice and remember I was on my own there was nobody else in the house and the telly was off and it's and it uh, surprised me it, it shocked me a little bit I wasn't expecting it and the voice had a kind of authority to it well God spoke these words to me just a, sh a few words not many but he spoke them and he said, and, and I knew it was important for me to listen. He said, whilst I was seeing the picture of Jesus on the cross, this is how much you are worth to me. So how about that? The audible voice of God, the out loud voice of God. It doesn't happen a lot these days, but it does still happen. And myself and Mike, from your church have both experienced it. I think you're going to go into some discussion groups now and have a good chat. Great to see you, Spark. <laughs>